Good morning, good morning. We are sitting now here in the car and uh, we are playing here the nice game for you. I want to give you the arrival experience, the complete arrival experience. So where I am right now is just when you get off the highway, okay? So here we are now going direction <clears throat> town of Cremona. And on the skyline here, you can see already the Torazzo, the Tower of Cremona. And I just wanted to show you how this is. If you are coming now, let's play the game. You are coming to Cremona. Today in the afternoon at 2 o'clock, I will transmit my viola talk. And uh, I'm playing, the, I have four violas played by Lena. We recorded it yesterday, the, 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 the viola talk because uh, Lena is occupied today. Here is the nice statue here in the, in the middle of this circle of a, of a violin. And you just make a half turn around. You don't make, you take the second exit here of this um, roundabout and you go to Centro. Centro, this is where you have to go because we want to go downtown to this very little town from uh, many years ago, in the past, 100 years ago, at the time of Spradivari, Cremona was much more important than other towns, and Milan was also much smaller. Nowadays, the town has 70,000 habitants. That's probably in a bigger town. Uh, the, the, the amount of people living in one complex of uh, skyscrapers. Here it's a little town and in the center all the buildings are still from 15th, 16th century, uh, like this. Yeah. Um, so here you come slowly into the town. I have to watch out that I don't drive too fast. It's Sunday morning here. It's very nice weather, but you cannot see, but it is. It's Today it's 10 degrees Celsius, so it's... We are actually, we, we are searching for an, our warm uh, jackets and I'm happy that I'm nicely warm, covered with my new leather jacket. Um, here there is the hospital Casa di Cura San Camillo. This is one of the, there are many small hospitals here in Cremona. And uh, the, all the, the roundabouts, this is something very new. This is Via Mantova. You have on uh, one side the big parking spot, which is also used when there are some soccer games, Saturday afternoon. Uh, then there's also a, a fruit and vegetable market. Uh, the campers can uh, park here. Um, there's the, the, the bus uh, station also for touristic buses here at the very far end here. Um, and we're reaching now the traffic light of Piazza Libertà. Um, probably they call it Piazza Libertà because there are also the vigili, the police, the town police. So once you paid your parking fines, then you finally feel free. And so it's, but no, it's not. This is just a stupid joke from Edgar. We shouldn't joke about these things. On the Piazza del Libertà, uh, there is also the Hotel uh, Continental, which is uh, a nice hotel. For many years it was closed because they were renovating, and now it's quite nice. It's uh, a little bit out, but it's actually not so far out, because on the square down here, there's this Torone Vergani, this pink building. In there, this is already the road. If you take this road by walking, it's about... I would say five, six hundred meters. And then you are, are reaching Corso Mazzini, which is the road in front, the bigger road, the shopping road in front of my workshop. I'm not supposed to go through. So with the car, we have just to pass by on this square here, Piazza della Libertà, and we go straight into Via Dante. Okay, Via Dante, you can only make in one direction. And if you want to go back, you have to make Via Trento Trieste. So Via Dante is the road which goes from Piazza della Libertà all the way down to, um, let's say, train station. And then more on, 
to the end of Corso Garibaldi, which is every, every city in Italy has a Corso Garibaldi. And it's nice to walk down all the Corso Garibaldi, yeah? So here you have to really to watch out. There is the center sign and you have to go in here like this. This is quite new, but you know, you make it like this. I just, I just switch all the traffic lights on green. Dark green was this one. In order that we have a, a, a fluent drive here, I hope you don't watch me too exactly. And then here we are crossing via Trento Trieste, which goes on the other way opposite way of Via Dante, and that is Via Azelli. There's the workshop also from Marco Nolli. It's now closed. Here's Via Azelli, which is another road close to my workshop, and we have to go around here like this. Yeah? Now I'm going to show you all these things here, because it's actually a nice arrival by car. This is Largo Paolo Sarpi. Here on this corner here, we have also the workshop of Vladimir Kubanzi. He made a new entrance, very nice. I think he's a good guy. He's very active and I appreciate all his effort. And here you see for the first time the Duomo and the Torazzo. I think this is just a very nice view, okay? And as you might know, my workshop is very close by. I think if, if the tower would fall down, it would just hit my workshop, you know? But you certainly can be even closer to it. It's, it's a very nice. And then here, for instance, this uh, one-way road inside is Via Robolotti. Uh, they tried to make this um, whole road um, become a, a road only for violin makers. Indeed, there are a lot of violin makers. I will make later on another turn around and we just pass through this road. I just wanted to show you first how you arrive to my workshop and then we go a little bit back and I show you also that road. Here is already the main square of the town. This is Piazza Roma and there is also the gravestone of, of Stradivari and everything. Okay, now here this is like a tourist trap here. Controllo in atto means if you go through then you get a nice postcard from the police here and they charge you 78 euros because you went where you shouldn't go. So now you have to go here. I, I could go because of a special permit, but you go towards the Teatro Filodramatici. This is the entrance of this Filodramatici. It has been a, a cinema also. There. And this is actually already the building where I have my workshop inside, but it's just the opposite side, okay? This is the Palazzo Grasselli, and there was a very noble family, and that family was actually living, and then they could go straight from the building into the theater, okay? Just people were really living now. You could imagine building a building like this, and then just your private entrance to the theater. And nowadays we have a television at home, and then like this. Now, I just want to show you here, this, and then the next again to the right, and then you are in Via Mauromaki, and this is Via Azelli, okay? Now, the point is, I want to show you something different, because today, the breakfast, we just decided 10 minutes before we are online, I just decided we take, take make something different now. There's another hospital, the Ancelle, which is on my left side sorry it's very shaky here because of these these old roads it's nice cremono and there's a little people around this one here is bringing the dog mm. and there is here a small square inside actually i don't really remember the name of this square um, i'd have to ask um, a Piazza Gallina. No, 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 it's not Piazza Gallina. It is Piazza, Piazza. Hold on. I will... Ah, Giovanni Ventitreesimo. Piazza. Okay, okay, he doesn't. I just wanted to stop here and to tell you something. Oops, sorry, my sensor is here. And on this square, for many years, just in the front entrance, 
there was for many years Mondo Musica. When Mondo Musica was still very small, and then they made it first in the Chamber of Commerce, and then they made it also here. When I was working together with Grisales for 10 years, we made our Mondo Musica in, in this building on this square. And since inside it was very small, we you went outside. And in front, there's the Trattoria Cherry. I, I will slowly go around and then you will see. It's a historical uh, Trattoria. It, it's actually more a bar and then you can also eat inside. And if, if you go in, you, you won't see this fancy restaurant, okay? But it's traditional Cremonese food. It is over 100 years already here. They don't have to pay any more tax. What a great pleasure so i will resist with my company so i don't have to pay tax anymore and inside there there is i i heard already for the past years when there was always mondo musica that young violin makers exhibit their instruments there and now it's it's a little bit uh ambiguous because um those makers are not officially violin maker yet so it's it's an association. They found out how to make it. They found a, a social project, um, and it's called uh, Potega Aperta. I think it is the called a workshop, open workshop, something like this. Probably it stands for that they cannot, they don't sell that much, and uh, so somehow in in case they sell, probably they use this association in order to have the the financial and the fiscal. Uh, part uh, correct but I think you know uh, it's easy for makers like me and other professional workshops to point the finger and say ah, they don't pay tax and everything all of us we have started one day and, and you are not born the big master so I think it's, it's, it's a nice opportunity to give to young people to show to, the, to others what they're doing and this is why I, I thought okay Edgar it's nice to have breakfast with Edgar, and I, I'm, I'm sure you're sitting there now with the coffee and enjoying your breakfast. But I think it's a, it's a good way to show you that. My appointments for today are actually already packed, and I also have to go to the city hall. But I just thought, hey, Edgar, let's take a time a little bit later on. I still have to um, um, organize when exactly. I would love to make it like in two hours and 11 o'clock or something a short few inside because you can't come right now to see and i just want to show you so we make it here a little bit shorter now i show you um via robolotti with all the workshops and all the makers who are in that road and uh and then later on i can make another small short uh uh live transmission about this bottega aperta and the, the maker who, who connects me to that is one of my apprentice, Ludovico Zanni, who is a real artist. And I liked him when he was working with me. And he's still working and showing to my, his work in my workshop. Um, not too often. I would love to see him more often. But, you know, it, it's, you know, it's everybody must makes his own uh path in the in the in the world and uh, so i just want to show who is i i don't know who are the makers uh, in there it, it's, today i actually I, I heard the first time about the name of it because i i didn't know it's just that i always heard about it and i just want to see that and i want to show you okay so this here is now the the cherry and if i'm not uh, wrong we have to go in here something like this next to it now is everything closed they're opening at 10 o'clock but oops, sorry cherry this is the cherry trattoria and uh, phone numbers and things like this and this is piazza giovanni 23 23rd uh, palazzo della carità here and very nice and then here, this is a small square, and there's the workshop on the corner here of, uh, of Andre. And where the cars are coming from, actually out of this road here, this is the other side of Via Francesco Robolotti. One of my first addresses I was living, I was living in Via Robolotti, 
36. And now there are, are many makers in that uh, workshop, okay? Uh, in in the many makers in this uh, street, and um, so I, I just wanted to make slowly uh, Via Robolotti, but we only can go from one side, so I have to make once around, and I show you here as well. Here, this in front here, uh, you see Via Zelli is very sparkling. In front, you also have the workshop of Pasquale Sardone, okay, and uh, here this is Andre Schutz. Andrea Schutz, very active uh, violin maker, similar to my workshop, has more people working, secretary, uh, very active maker. And we always see us around. He's also actually living in where I'm living in Pasichello, but uh, yeah, he's recently is now, he got a new car, but then he's coming with his electric bicycle to work which I think is very nice. I, I should do that, but I'm, 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 more, I'm more on the Vespa side. And I don't know, I'm a little bit, uh, uh, you know, I always want the engine here. So this is Via Robolotti. And here we have makers like uh, Marco um, Gastaldi. Marco Gastaldi is here. He was also working in my workshop many years ago okay uh I, I actually i don't know all the makers here we have the cremona violin house i made also a tradition about it with with, with uh, vittore nordio and then arturo ponce he is a bow maker is here this is really then carlson neumann uh, bruce carlson and bernard neumann they're having their workshop here. It's, it's just one next to each other, okay? And uh, then who else is here? Diego Taje is he's here. It's, uh, you wouldn't say that it's an Italian name, but it's actually very Cremonese name. He's working here, okay? Then I just have to go on the side because there's a car coming and I don't want to rush here. Then we have Alessandra Pedota. And Alessandra is the is the wife of Bernard Neumann from Carlson and Neumann, okay? And um, they're all actually very good makers here. This is, uh, it, it, I, I, I don't love to be now in this road and all next to me and I have my workshop over there. But it's for somebody who comes to Cremona, this is like a, yeah, an, a nice road where you just pass by and you open one door and next door and the next one, uh, once you reach the end of the road, you have already a clearer idea what you're searching for, okay? And then here, what else? There are some makers inside. I don't know them all. Some don't write the name outside. It's, it's uh, Italian law. It's a little bit strange. I don't know why they don't put the name. Erika Riccardi is also um, here. I, I don't know her too well. Pica Giuseppe is a member of the consortium as well. Giuseppe Arre. We have here a few makers, and uh, I'm sure if you looked at the at the bells, uh, there are a lot of other makers here. And I think it's a it's a sparkling environment here. Okay, so now I, I make the whole thing for the second time. Same turn around. No, let's make here via Zelli all the way down. So I show you also. Here we have other makers. Like this one here, uh, Fabrizio Portanti. And then here we have uh, um, the workshop of Pasquale Sardone. And uh, this is actually Via Zelli then, okay? Sorry, I have to make it here a little bit quicker. And uh, Anna is going to be here as a shoemaker. I like him very much because he is one of the shoemakers who, who still does the, his job uh, in a great way. And at the very end of Yazelli, where we came in before, there's Marco Nolli here, where the big sign is of this. Uh, yeah, this is just right now where the car is. This is where Marco Nolli's workshop is. A very nice workshop, um, two or three floors. Marco Nolli is one of the great makers. Of, uh, and this here, can you see this? This is, is 
Vladimir Kubanci, okay? So yeah. this is Vladimir Kubanci. Ciao, Vladimir. Uh, I'm just showing here the town and you and your workshop. This is nice. Mi offri un caffè da te. Andiamo, dai, veloce. Corri, corri. So we're going to, to have a coffee in his workshop. I think this is a nice idea. I didn't expect to have a, for a coffee with Vladimir. So I think this is a... So here you get the real Cremona uh, situation. Uh, how you can see my colleagues are not biting or anything. Um, I put my car like this here, which is not allowed. You think I can put my car like this? Okay, vietato di sosta. Lunedì 29. Okay, so today I still can park my car here. Okay, we just put it down like this. I hope they don't bring, put my special permit here. And, uh, This is nice, huh? you know, so we can here see a little bit the workshop of, hold on, very good, so, wow, uh, huh? I have to close my car here, okay, oops, uh, yeah? So I have closed my car, yes, and then we go over there, and then I show you. And this is actually a good road because there is the museum just here where the flag is. This building here, this very nice decorated building, it's actually a museum. And uh, for long times before they opened the Museo del Violino, uh, there was actually... Um, All the tools of Stradivari and everything, the Museo Civico was everything in that museum. This building here, very nice building. Uh, Vladimir just didn't buy the whole building, but he bought his workshop, you know? So this is, and just recently I saw his new door, and now we want to get in. Tu hai le chiavi? Yes, yes. Ci fai vedere la tua bottega? Come sta il cagnolone? Si? Uh, the dog is, 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 is a little bit sick, so you can tell how he's like this, but this isn't that he's a nice dog. Che dici? Non mettiamo la maschera, ma teniamo una certa distanza di sicurezza, vero? We don't put the mask, but we keep a certain distance. Now, this one here is completely new. And he just, I just saw that, that he was doing this. It looks really nice. This is very nice. Hmm? Ah, okay. Una volta che siamo dentro, mi toglio la cuffietta. So we close here the door. Huh? Just want to show you a different workshop. Now I take off this one here. Oh. Okay. Adesso il microfono si sente anche te. Vladimir is a very active, he, he actually organized the, 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 yesterday when we passed at the consortium and there was the concert, he organized the aperitivo, but I didn't think that they, they were playing for so long, so then I, I we didn't have aperitivo. And the dog is very nice. How are you doing, boy? Hmm? Wow. Hmm? Is this nice? Vladimir is, is, is an artist, huh? <laughs> There are many, many small things here. Wow. Huh? Yes, sir. too much dust. Too much dust. Dust. This is, you know, the problem. As a maker, you are making on one side and you try to keep things very nice and clean and everything. Oh. The coffee machine, as a real maker in Cremona, in Italy, you need to have a... <laughs> A nice coffee, coffee machine, machine. yeah. Uh, so this is the workshop. Here wow. You have, uh, it's similar like in my workshop. Maybe I have it a little bit cleaner because I have a cleaning woman. You can tell <laughs> Vladimir doesn't have a cleaning woman yet. But uh, sooner or later, huh? And uh, 
Yeah, you, you see how, how same way how I make my instrument. You joint it, you cut it out, you roughly make it. It's just, uh, this is it, you know? I think this is a very sparkling environment. Bello. And uh, Vladimir is very good in connecting people. I think he's a fundamental part of the consortium uh, who connects people here. Prende le coccole. Uh, grazie. Okay. Ah, eh. Io direi che noi siamo. Hai qualcosa da farci vedere? Un violino particolare? O mm -hmm. Ci vuoi raccontare qualcosa? Quando ti hanno risposto alla uh, 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 musica. Fai vedere, dai. Oh. Let, let's have a look at least at one violin. Otherwise, you say, why do we have to follow Edgar in the car, right? Uh, I'm just saying here, you know. But I'm. Yeah, that, and I'm wow! This is l'Aquila, no? Come si chiama? This is the stem of Russia with l'Aquila with two tests. I don't know if you see it here. Yes, yes, very good. Magari lo mettete un po' più avanti. Ma è bellissimo. Veramente bello. Limited edition. Limited? No, this is more than limited. This is just a unique piece. Wow. Bello. Veramente bello. E questo violino sarà oggi al speed date. Ok. Ah, ok. Today at the speed date. Very nice. Una ragazza coreana, una studentessa del conservatorio. Ok. Bello. Wow. Molto bello. Coffee, coffee. Coffee, so coffee. I say this is directly from Cremona. I, I, Vladimir was the only one who is already starting to open his shop. And so we just him here. It was not so, I didn't arrange it with him. This no. is just, this happens. Yeah. Just as the whole idea that we are going to see other things which are going around. Um, I it is a pleasure to meet your huh? improvisation. Like this. <laughs> uh, I'm going to transmit later on about the Bottega Aperta. I will just want to show you also that, so you have a little bit more the sensation to be in Cremona and you see what's going on. And I would say, and later at two o'clock, the transmission, the viola talk, and in the evening we make a small conclusion today. I hope you enjoyed this one. Subscribe, tell your friends, and soon some address secrets are coming. Ciao. Bye. Bye. Ciao. Ciao. Bye. Bye. Ciao. Ciao.